Paragraph 21. Gift of God. The counsel of poverty or detachment from earthly goods is taken as an act of faith, reflecting the true nature of our humanity and relationship toward God. We come to Him with open hands, trusting that He will provide in and when He knows is good for us. Through detachment from worldly goods, we see all as gift given to us by God. We seek to live a simple and modest lifestyle according to our state in life. Through the most beautiful exchange of love, we give Him all that is truly ours, our poverty and sinfulness, and He in turn clothes us with His holiness and fruits. A holy poverty, God promises the kingdom of heaven, and beyond any doubt reveals eternal glory and blessed life to those who have and desire her. So the reflection on this is that as a community we strive towards being detached from all things, all worldly goods, really embracing um, a healthy um, poverty, poverty that is reflected in um, living within our means and not outside of our means. Um, poverty in the sense that we feel a pinch. It's always important as a community that we uh, embrace the poverty that the Lord decides for us to have as we um, talk with the Lord and He shares with us how He wants to, um, what He wants to do with our finances, with our material goods. If we're not using things, then we give it to others. We see ourselves as a steward, like Francis of Assisi. He saw himself as a steward of God's gifts, and that when the Lord asked him to, he would freely give it to another. And so we should do the same thing, not only materially or financially, but also with our time, our effort. And this poverty of having nothing but our sinfulness is really the poverty that Jesus came here to earth for. What makes man truly man is our poverty. And this is a gift. We see all as gift. When we have the stand for the complete detachment, then we can truly see everything as gift and be grateful to the Lord for all that he provides for us. And thus we live as simple and modest as we can possibly be according to our state of life. So we don't try to impress people by what we wear, by how we look. We try to be as authentically ourselves as possible. And this beautiful exchange of love, of the Father loving us and giving us His gifts, and us being completely detached, helps us to be open to receive more of what He wants to give. We give Him everything, and he clothes us with his holiness and his fruits. But if we're grasping on to stuff, then our hands are already filled. And our hands are already filled so we can't receive what he wants to give us because our hands aren't open to receive. So let us be open today to receive all that the Lord desires to give us. If you like what you're hearing, then I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and hear more about the constitutions of the Light and Salt Covenant community.